Hello guys, let's continue to work on our machine learning problem using regression. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to use linear regression to create some uh, trading ideas uh, from these results and we need uh, to pay attention on some details. It, it could be a <clears throat> very important for us to avoid some mistakes. For example, let's look at this one. Uh, you, we need uh, let's I reload this again the picture notebook let's close we are set the data set okay so let's now <coughs> uh, load our library uh, we're going to use this uh, data set explain it before and I'm also uh, decrease uh, split number because it's very important for us uh, you pay attention on it because uh, if you have uh, some very big split for test data, it could be uh, dangerous for us because uh, uh, market stage could be changed. And we need to uh, do something clever way to split our data set. For example, if, uh, we do some training. Next, uh, we split uh, uh, data, uh, for example, 10% or 5%. 5 and uh, we again train and we again to split to test data so let's look at this one i'm also download data uh, from uh, um, binance and you see and i saved it here but i'm going to load this um, data from csv file from the data folder next uh, we need to check our data set because I'm going to split uh, this data set by day of year. Next, uh, uh, we need uh, to make some process data set. And also you should be check, uh, you should be, uh, check a data frame because sometimes you have a bug from a data set uh, from Binance. Uh, some missed value and something uh, mistake on this data set because uh, if we uh, put uh, some not good data set to machine learning problem and we get uh, a bad model and we're going to check it's working or not for example I'm going to check for example let's see on Bitcoin VT okay, this, the price is same and this price uh, in general in the same format it's not changed okay it's okay we did it next uh, we need to split our data set we did it before okay let's uh, check we used only five uh, uh, will uh, five columns to predict uh, our target value because we start uh, from a very simple model also we did uh, uh, standard scalar next we need to create some base model let's look on the uh, this um, uh, rmsi this is core and we have this value and we need to improve our value using polynomial feature I, I made some description about this one let's do it and you see uh, we decrease uh, this an error and it, it's working and you should to find the best parameters for preliminary feature let's do it it takes some time um, if you used uh, for example data for the one year it could be take uh, too many times uh, to tune on this uh, par parameters it could be take maybe all day for computing and in next tutorial we should to find some flexible approach to find between uh, accuracy and uh, complex of model because uh, sometimes uh, we get uh, less accuracy less accuracy but we take uh, too many computation of computer and it takes a very long time okay this is plot with the best uh, parameters and we need to find uh, value with the smallest uh, 
warrior. Let's preempt it. And you see, as the best uh, for train would be a degree with five. Next, we're going to tune in Hlaner regression and check another tuning model. We are, we are going to use a grid search CV. Uh, this method, method of class we import from this one model selection. Let's look at this one. And you see, this is a class. And you could read some documentation about this one and find some. Uh, some useful information how to use it. Okay, this class take uh, another class. Let's look at what is it. Okay, this one. Okay, there's some parameters of scoring for computation. If you need uh, parallel um, computation for several um, processor. Okay. Let's continue. So uh, we find uh, some of the best parameters, but uh, you see uh, RMSI on this value, but we got, we need to check uh, uh, RMSI for this model. This polynomial feature, let's cal uh, do this cal calculation. Yeah. And we got uh, smallest value, it means uh, this model is better. Let's uh, define the trading ideas. Uh, first of all, we need to create correct data set because uh, uh, you see we, we have some Bitcoin USDT and we need to t uh, group by our data set by symbol. Next, we need to get uh, our tickers and we are going to use this method like query and indicate symbol equal uh, target ticker. Target ticker with this symbol uh, we define because this is a value like global value and we could uh, mark it into string and we could use this uh, value. Okay, let's look in. So you see we have some open high local value. This is data and we are going to predict uh, next log, next step. First of all, uh, you should understand uh, uh, using machine learning, we solve two problems. We are going to predict and we do some generalization of data. It's very important because uh, too many data scientists or quantitative traders use only feature of, of predict, but uh, you could create a beautiful trading strategy Use, using a uh, generalization eff effect of machine learning. It's very important because uh, when I read some book, um, in general, I see uh, only about uh, prediction, but some, so, sometimes we need to use generalization. Uh, it means when we used some information from model and next we do some stacking. We used this data from prediction of model and we cre create some indicator of this uh, uh, data and we are going uh, we could create some very interesting indicator from this one because it, this indicators would be uh, based by machine learning model okay uh, i'm going to show you on some uh, very simple example so um, we need to calculate some sigma it would be a standard deviation of prediction of our model. And we're going to use uh, the sigma to create some price channel. Let's look in. Okay. We're going to use train strategy. Let's calculate sigma. Okay. And we're going to do some processing of our train data set. So we're going to use the polynomial feature in our model and we do two problems. Uh, we're going to solve two problems. It's problem for prediction data and generalization. So if I split this information using this commit. Uh, when we take uh, some prediction of data and we're going to make some calculation on this one. And you see I 
uh, at a data from prediction, it can create some rolling of uh, Gintov to calculate some minimum and max value. And using this information, uh, I'm going to make some signal. And you see this one. Let's run the cell. Next, uh, let's look into this machine learning channel for generalization problem of machine learning. And you see this is some uh, channel what we brewed based on linear regression with polynomial feature. It's very important idea. Next, uh, I'm going to calculate some returns using of this idea. It means uh, uh, if you have this some channel, uh, it means uh, price could be rebound of this channel in next block and we're going to calculate these returns what happens let's look in and you see it's working on train data we could generate uh, some profit from this one uh, but uh, this profit only on uh, train data let's let's uh, calculate uh, profit from prediction of machine learning it means i do some calculation and let's calculate okay it's also working when we're going to predict a next luck and if this luck would be increase we create uh, some buy order and vice versa and you see uh, in this case we have less signal and generate is about 10 percent of profit and uh, this one we generate uh, more than 40 percent of profit but uh, uh, we have some advantages and disadvantages of this approach uh, in this one uh, i see we have more accuracy for example but in general uh, i didn't uh, tuning uh, i didn't tuning uh, uh, for example these parameters of uh, window in general i show you some ideas how to build uh, uh, trading strategy but it could be take several months several months uh, working with some team together on this problem to create some very nice strategy but it's but it could be a very nice point okay sorry guys Next, we need to, uh, what we need to do, we need to um, test this idea on test data. Because on training data, we could create some beautiful trading strategy, but on test data, it could be not working. Uh, because um, uh, we could find, uh, we could make some overfitting of this model, but we need to to make some generalization of the data to find some uh, relationship okay so let's do it uh, we're going to create uh, our test strategy we go data from test and go by by symbol and uh, take on the for bitcoin for example data and you see this is our data set and you also uh, do the same we're going to uh, to make a sign of from predictional and from generalization of data okay let's look in on this one what happens this is our channel uh, this channel we create uh, uh, from our predictional data okay and let's look at what happens if you use uh, uh, our channel we are going to trade on our channel and you see we have some profit line and you could trade it okay uh, next uh, let's generate uh, a signal from prediction and you see we also have some relationship on test data and some uh, positive profit line and also sometimes i'm test uh, 
uh, for more feature for test data to understand uh, how market uh, state is, is changed for example if I'm I, uh, I run the cell I calculate the best for uh, test data set uh, polynomial feature would be one but for train data it would be five it means uh, market uh, is changed so uh, in general you see we could create uh, some trading ideas from machine learning uh, using prediction of machine learning and using some generalization effect of machine learning this is some two way how to we could create a trading strategy from machine learning um, this approach uh, we're going to improve because it, it takes too many time uh, to create something very strong uh, machine learning strategy um, for example we need to find the best model uh, to achieve um, uh, the best accuracy using um, tuning of a different uh, model of machine learning or, or, or it could be something a neural network or um, ensemble of model or or if you are going to create for example meta model next uh, the most important maybe it, it uh, correctly split our data set because uh, we have some relationship only on if you have some state of the market and we need to define the state of the market and we need to correct correctly validation uh, our ideas for example uh, for example we have some relationship in time for example when some large player is activated on uh, on some uh, hours i show you for example okay let's look in let's look in on this one and we need to find uh, market uh, statistics yes yeah, statistics and for example let's look in the box plot and take volume and you see we have some activated volume on some hours and we could use this information for correct validation of our data set and we could improve our results okay so guys if you like uh, this video subscribe on my youtube channel and uh, we're going to improve these ideas uh, oh also uh, forget I forgot if you take for example data uh, for one years it could be um, it could be it's about uh, seven um, seven thousand hundred uh, it means one million rows it's about okay it's about one million rows and uh, we could use big data effect to create a very smart machine learning strategy uh, I used only 50 days because to demonstrate how it's working but if you used a big data set uh, you could create some magic effect from, from machine learning okay guys uh, see, uh, thanks for the, watching this video and see you next time bye